Hello, so we are back, and this time we have a special job, yeah? Check check this laptop, yeah? 17 inch, i7, and probably NVIDIA graphics, 120 hertz display. This is a proper nice one, Nitro 5. Now, why this job is special? Is because the customer sent me a bag of coffee, you know? I will feel bad if I will not fix his laptop. But before we are starting, let's speak about our sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is your one-stop solution for all kinds of PCBs. 3D printing, CNC, she metal, all are available on their website. I will leave a link in the description. Every new register, they will have $5 to buy PCBs, which is about 10 PCBs. So basically, you just make an account and you have like 10 PCBs for free. All you have to do is to pay for the postage. Now I did check myself the quality. It's unbelievable. So check here. Those are PCBs from the PCB way. As we start on the other channel with the beginner lessons, definitely I will order some PCBs from PCB way. Now back to our laptop. So what's the problem with the laptop? Let's check the customer letter. So the customer is actually a subscriber. Many thanks for helping with the repairs. The laptop was exactly one month over the warranty when it didn't turn on anymore. Tested the power supplies. I hope it's just a capacitor. You know what? That's what we hope with every job. But most likely it's not a capacitor. This is a gaming laptop. Many thanks and keep up the excellent work. Like, subscribe, and I'm ready to recommend it. So let's open the laptop quickly. We're not gonna check yet. Let's open first. Wow, this is a nice laptop. I mean, check here, it's a classic board, classic board. I mean, you can spot the input circuit from like, you see the charging port, first MOSFET, second MOSFET, current sensor. You know what I mean? So let's get the multimeter and let's check the main power earlier. Now is the moment. Now is the moment. Minus, plus here on the current resistor. You can't see, sorry. Check there. 10 ohms. You know how bad it is? One second, my multimeter has like two ohms. Yeah, now it's better. Eight ohms. Now, when you have eight ohms, most likely it's not a capacitor. And, <laughs> you know, I'm so sorry for this customer already. But let's hope. We can still hope can be a capacitor, but it's eight ohms. So most likely we have a zero ohm MOSFET on the CPU. If it will be on the GPU, we will have under one ohm. So this must be a shorted MOSFET on the CPU. It's not on the chipset because it's no blow up, but yeah. Can be a capacitor. Yes, can be a capacitor. We can have like a weird case with a very high resistance capacitor. Can be can be but very unlikely yeah you know what i'm thinking just for a second just for a second eight ohms that's high resistance let me try something let me try something because it will not be the first laptop which has like a shorted screen connector or shorted cable and actually you have like eight ohms there no it's not it's not the screen <laughs> Okay, let's open. Let's see. It's not the screen. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so we took out everything. Let me grab the thermal camera. I will unplug the battery. Yeah, good. Now let's come with the power supply. Let's lower the voltage. Let's lower the voltage to be safe. Uh, 0 0.9 should be fine. A little bit of current, let's lower to like two amps, yeah. So we have ground and we have plus after the first two MOSFETs. 
here. We don't have ground. It, no. Okay, we don't have really ground there. Yeah, let's see. So it's taking 900 milliamps, the CPU or the GPU. Uh, which one, the CPU or the GPU? Just say, probably you know, it probably is the CPU, right? Yeah, nothing is getting hard. No, no, no. This, this, this is a dead CPU, right? Must be a dead CPU. 10 ohms. Oh, the VRAM, I can't believe. Check there the VRAM. Check the VRAM. You can see it? The VRAM, I can't believe. It's still good. It's still good because this laptop uh, can still be used on... Uh, uh, that's so bad. You know, I'm so sorry. You know how it's with the VRAM? You have one, you can see two VRAMs are getting hot. But as soon as you desolder those two VRAMs, you will see another one or another one and so on. So all VRAMs are dead. GPU, most likely it is the, the, the NVIDIA chip. Because like how I said, you have a shorted MOSFET. One of these two are, are shorted. When you have a shorted MOSFET and you have 19 volts with like 10 amps coming to the VRAM, the, sh the short, it's not always to with ground. Yeah, it is with ground and with the outputs, which are going to the GPU. So, the GPU. So, the VRAM has 8 ohms. You see? That's why the main power rail has 8 ohms. Let's remove the MOSFETs. Okay, so we remove one MOSFET. Let's check to see if the main parallel is still shorted. No, it's not shorted anymore. Yeah, you can see it's not short. So that MOSFET was dead. Feels bad, right? Feels bad. Okay. Let me plug. Let me plug the charger. Let me cool down the board a little bit. So plug in the charger, and we don't have 19, let's rise to 19, 19 volts, plug in the charger, no short, let's uh, raise the current, because this is a gaming laptop. And let's try to power on, right? Pressing the power button. And the laptop is coming on with 2.8 amps, 3.2 amps. And it's switching off. Switching off. It's because of my charger. It's working. We have picture. I can't believe. I can't believe we have picture. Let me check the VRAM quickly. The laptop shut down. Yeah, we don't have hissing over the CPU. I know. I know. That sucks. Let me power on one more time. Let's check the VRAM. 1.2. Wait, do you think this actually can be good? Let me switch it off. One second. Because we still have voltage on the VRAM, and that's strange. I mean, it's not strange. Yeah, it's working on one coil. It is possible this customer to be lucky. I mean, the voltage on the VRAM is still good. It's still okay. So let me replace that MOSFET 
and check after because right now all the pressure is left on this MOSFET. Those power supplies are together. Yeah. So let me replace that MOSFET. So this is a dual MOSFET E6932. I believe I have this MOSFET. Okay, we have 6930, yeah, and we need 6932. Let me check what is the difference. Let me check online. Okay, I found it. I found it, yeah. So we have 6930, 6932. Now, my ones, they have they are lower amps, but they can uh, they have lower internal resistance. And the original one has a little bit more amps, but the internal resistance is higher. Yeah. So I believe my ones with lower internal resistance are better. Now have in mind when you are replacing the MOSFETs, yeah, like on this case, we have two MOSFETs, yeah, doing the same job. I mean the output the output coils are connected together here, you can see from the both coils. So the MOSFET has to be the same, because otherwise one MOSFET it will work harder compared with the other. So when you are replacing, you have a shorted MOSFET, replace both MOSFETs. Okay, so I remove even the second MOSFET. Now let's solder. So this is one. Let's use a little bit of flux. Good, so one MOSFET is solder. Now let's solder the second MOSFET. Good. Let's get the solder out. Perfect. Let's check for short. It's not short. Let's clean quickly. Perfect. Now, let's test. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Good, let's plug the charger. We plug the charger. Let's press the power button. We press the power button. Let me check the voltage quickly. One point two six one, which is about right. The current is not too high, so I believe this is fixed. I don't know. I need a I need a Windows password in order to check if this GPU is still working. Let me put back the heatsink. Don't worry, we're gonna clean the heatsink and new thermal paste after we are figured out if it's working or not. Good. So the heatsink is on is on place. Plug in the charger. Let's press the power button and it's coming on. The fans are spinning. The windows is loading. We have the login screen. I need a password. I need a password so we can stress the GPU a little bit. Yeah, remember what I told you, remember? So I got the password. Check that, Nvidia with you know the yellow sign on the on the Nvidia graphics. Sadly, is nothing what we can do. It's nothing what we can do. Like how I told you, when you have a shorted MOSFET, 
then the power is not going only to ground, you know, okay, shorting the VRAM and the, the 19 volts, it will go to ground. No, it will go also on the data lines, yeah? So the GPU is dead, the VRAM is dead. Okay, all good, the Windows is working great. It's charging the battery, everything, it's okay. It's still working on the, on the Intel graphics. The fans are spinning, the heat sink is just a little bit warm. Now, is something what we could do more for this customer? No. I mean, I've been on that road. I replace VRAMs and always when a VRAM is dead, a GPU is dead also. Okay? Replacing the GPU, I will be happy to replace it if you can give me a good GPU. You know, like a good one. You know it's good, you know? Because otherwise, we have experience buying chips from uh, AliExpress. So I'm going to stop now. I will say uh, thank you for watching. I'm happy I helped this customer. At least he can use the laptop. It's not like, you know, a waste. It still can be used. And you know, the customer said he was not using this laptop for gaming. So uh, probably for him, it's still a good value. So uh, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, like always. And see you on the next one. Bye.